Hi, Mr. Ford here, and welcome to the basics of electricity, conductors, and insulators. Let's get started. What does conductive and insulative mean? Something that is conductive allows the free flow of electrons from atom to atom. Something that is insulative resists the transference of electrons from one atom to another. Conductive material, called a conductor, is material that easily accepts additional electrons, allowing the flow of electrical current in one or more directions. Common conductors are metals like iron, copper, gold, and nickel. The most common conductive material that is not a metal is graphite. Now you might think, is water a conductor? Pure water is not a conductor. The transfer of electrical current in water is often due to ions in the water. As virtually no natural water sources are pure water, electrical current can travel in most water found throughout the world. This is why we don't keep electrical devices near our water, like bathtubs or sinks. Insulators are materials that do not allow the flow of electrical current. Most non-metals are insulators, with different materials insulating better than others. Some common insulators include plastic, glass, wood, and ceramics. As with water, natural materials like wood experience varying degrees of insulation, based on the number of impurities present in the material. This makes things like wood less likely to be consistently good insulators. On the other hand, man-made materials like plastic and glass have far fewer impurities, making them far more insulative. We can see this in the wrapping of electrical wires in plastics to keep electrons within the conductive wires from leaving the circuit. Ceramics are also excellent insulators and can be found in many industrial electrical devices, like spark plugs used in combustion engines and on power transformers that distribute electricity to communities. Knowing the difference between conductive and insulative materials is important because it can be the difference between life and death when using electrical circuits. Conductive materials allow electricity to flow freely, meaning that the things that we want to use with electricity can work, whereas insulative materials protect us and protect the sensitive circuitry inside of our electrical devices. I'm Mr. Ford, and this has been Basics of Electricity, Conductors, and Insulators.